All right, so I figured this would be the easiest way to show everyone how to make these boxes. Uh, they're pretty simple, pretty basic boxes. Um, this way you guys can go see a visual of what I'm doing, so if there's any confusion. Um, what you're gonna want to get is three quarter inch plywood. I usually get a higher quality end since you've been using them for a while anyway. Um, you know, so they have different varieties there. I don't get the most expensive, I kind of get in between. So you get your three quarter inch plywood and I usually have them cut it there. So it's eight feet by four feet. I have them cut it down the middle and then cut it down lengthwise. So what you're gonna end up with are four pieces of plywood, two feet by four feet. And once you have those pre-cut, uh, each one of those panels uh, should get you a box and then by the end of it you should have enough to make one more box so that would be five boxes total. So what I'm going to do now is go over the dimensions that you're going to need to cut. So there are six sides, 12 by 12 inch, 12 by 12 inch, 10 inch by 10 and a half inch, 10 inch by 10 and a half inch, and these side ones right here are 10 inch by 12 inch. Um, it's going to be easiest to, once you cut these, just go ahead and I marked what size they were, and uh, so that way I could trace out for the other boxes and then go from there. So what I'm going to do now is break this box down and show you how to put it together piece by piece. When you start cutting and making these boxes and cutting the squares out, you're going to be left with pieces like this right here. Save those because you're going to need them for the inside right here. That's what you're putting on this door like I have. If you wanted to do the hinges on there, you could do that as well. All right, so I have the first step here. I have it all broken down so you can kind of see how this is going to go. Um, I, I start off with the 10 inch by 12 inch and then a 10 inch by 10 and a half inch. Um, there are different ways to do it. This is why it's found to be a little bit easier in the way I, I put them together. So, the obviously the 10 inch right here and then 12 inch going across this side, you will put, you're going to make an L. So, I start off with a level surface and so I can see, make sure everything is nice and, and smooth together. The screws that I use are the two inch and a half drywall screws. And I did not put through my screw holes. I didn't have any issues, but it would be a smoother process if you didn't put through those screw holes, but not necessary. What you're gonna to wanna to do is to again, just hold it together. Um, I just put two screws in here, one at the bottom and one at the top. And once you have those screws, what you're going to want to do at the top of this is with one of your you know, scrap pieces is put it on top here, uh, make sure it's nice and flush, and then you can run the pen or pencil across here because what we're going to do is we're going to uh, later on put a small piece in here for that door so it doesn't fall in. So once you've got that together, then you would come out and get your other 10 by 12 inch piece, put it together like this, screw it down here, and then you're going to have this, this U shape afterwards. All right, so next, what you're going to want to do is put on the 12 by 12 inch pieces. So just make sure it's nice and level here. Um, the last thing we're going to do is, is the hole, so don't worry about that. So once you have the 12 inch side here, you're going to do the same thing on this side. Put the other 12 by 12 piece on this. Make sure it's, you know, it's flush. Uh, real quick, something to keep in mind is when the, the screw placement. So for example, you know, I have a screw going this way. I wasn't going to put a screw right here, then I would hit this one. So I, you just off-center it a little bit. That's all you're going to need to do. And, and as you're putting this together, you're, it'll be, should be pretty uh, common sense for you to realize that might happen. So. That would be the next step you need to do. Alright, so once you get the both 12 by 12 in on each side, you should pretty much have a box going for you. Uh, real quick, if someone is using a 
BSD system. Uh, at this point, you may uh, not want to put that door here uh, because you could actually easily slip it over, right? And you, can make, you could make a bolt here if you wanted to. Um, and that's what I've done before in the past. So just uh, a little tip for some people out there. Now, going on, if you're going to put the door in, now this is when we're going to put those, those hinges in. So, um, again, you're just going to get those pieces of wood. What I've done here is just make them an inch wide and just, I think this is like nine inches across right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then the marking should already be inside here. So all you're going to do is hold it in place, make sure it's there, and then just very slowly put those screws in. Once it's in, in place, I wouldn't screw it in all the way. And then start with this side here, and uh, then go to the next side. All right, so once you have both of these inner pieces in here, it should look like this. And you can put it on a different way. I mean, you can put these pieces on this side right here if you wanted to. Uh, it's up to you. But once you have that, then you're going to get your 10 and a half by 10 inch piece. And I make sure my a little more snug so it doesn't pop out. I put a, I got a, uh, one of these paddle little bits and just uh, screw one in the center so I could easily take this out. You're also going to need this paddle drill bit though uh, for making this here as, as well, which we're going to go over next. This is the uh, last step. All right, so making the hole, uh, very simple. This is just a scratch of the pilot, so I'm just show you what I do. What I use is just a roll of duct tape or masking tape, whatever kind of tape you want to use. And there's two ways, uh, it's two sides to this. So for example, I have it set here, and it's inside here, and that creates the outside as well. So I want to show you guys that there's a difference. So it's up to you on how big of a hole you want, but I'll show you real quick that there is two different sizes, and, and not by much, I usually like to go with the with the outer size, so it's a little bit bigger, but it's up to you guys. Um, and then that's where you're gonna want to get your paddle drill bit so you can put a hole in the center and then get your jigsaw and then just trace that around. Now if you don't have a, a big enough paddle drill bit, you could just use a regular drill bit, but as long as it's big enough to where your, your jigsaw uh, will actually fit through that hole. Alright, so that should be it. You should have one box completed. Let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully there's nothing I left out. Uh, but if you have any questions, uh, send them to me and I will definitely get back to you. These boxes have worked great for me and uh, hopefully they work great for you too.